Let's begin with understanding what an opioid overdose is and how it affects the body. Opioids work by interacting with receptors in our brain. The opioids fit into these receptor sites, sort of like a key fits in a lock. What makes opioids potentially so dangerous is that these same receptors ensure we keep breathing. An overdose happens when more and more opioid molecules latch onto these receptors, overwhelming the brain's ability to keep us breathing properly or even at all. Because someone suffering from an opioid overdose may appear to be simply sleeping, it's important to know the signs to look for. Specifically, breathing becomes very slow and shallow, erratic, or has stopped. Snoring or gurgling sounds are made. Pupils become pinpoints. There is a loss of consciousness. The person is unresponsive to outside stimulus. The body is limp. Pulses slow, erratic, or not there at all. The face is pale and clammy. Fingers and lips turn blue or purple, and the person may also experience vomiting. An opioid overdose deprives the body of oxygen, which can cause vital organs, especially the brain, to shut down. After three to five minutes without oxygen, brain damage starts to occur, soon followed by death. Fortunately, there is a medication that can temporarily combat opioid overdose symptoms, buying critical time for paramedics to arrive. Naloxone is a competitive antagonist to opioids. It works by knocking the opioids off the brain receptors they've latched onto, allowing the person to breathe again and temporarily reverses the overdose.